when entering the cab, have three points of contact at all times. You come in, shut your door. You're checking your seat belt. You're looking for tears, rips, any frayed on your seat belt. Make sure it works good in good condition. It goes in and releases. Locks in and releases. Lock it in. Then after you have your seat belt, you check your windshield, your windows, and your mirrors properly adjusted to you. Your windshield, you're looking for any cracks, any kind of damage, no illegal stickers. Doing a safe start, clutch all the way in and the gear shift in neutral. When starting it up, you're looking for your ABS lights to come on and off. Your tractor, there was your trailer. Next, we're looking at the oil pressure on the rise and adequate for this truck. The temperature gauge adequate for this truck is running between 170 and 200. The next is your voltage reads between 12 and 14. Ours is at 13.9 volts. Then you're going over to your air pressure gauges. That's your primary, secondary gauge. My air gauges are set between 120 and 140, adequate to do an air brake test. From there, we're going to do our light check. Our dash lights are on, they're off. Going from there, left turn signal. Right turn signal. Four ways. Bright lights. And coming out with your hands, you're going to do your windshield wipers, the washers, and the blades are not torn or damaged, and they are working in good working condition. Coming back out, your highway horn, your city horn, on a 20 inch wheel, no more than two inches of play. You turn your defrosters on, checking up onto your dash, making sure it all comes out from there. There it is. Then reverse it to your heat. On the floor. And there it comes out. That was a good test. Now we're going to do our brake test. What you're going to do is put your truck in gear, in a low gear. Turn your truck off. Let your clutch back out. Turn your key back on for your gauges to work. And re release your brakes. This is the part of sail is S, letting all your air settle. Once it's settled, then I start my air leakage test. Hold my service brake down for one minute and not lose more than four PSI in that one minute.
That was a good test. Now we move on to low air pressure warning test. They should come on my lights and buzzards on or at before 60 PSI. You're fanning your brakes. There's one, two, and you light up here. That was a good test. They all came on at 60 PSI. My automatic spring brake test. Your trailer brake should come out before your tractor brake and it should come on between 40 and 20 PSI. Fanning your brakes again. That was a good test. Do a safe start, clutch in, and shifter in neutral. Checking again, your ABS lights come on and off. For my air governor to cut in and cut out and test. Did. I'm gonna raise the RPMs up between 10 to 1500 RPMs. 100 RPMs. I'm checking for my air governor to kick in. My needles are moving, so my air governor kick in is working good. The next I'm checking for is my air governor to kick out. That should be between 120 and 140 PSI. My needles have stopped moving. That indicates that my air governor kick out valve has worked properly. Start my parking brake test. I will put my truck in a low gear. Releasing my trailer brake, testing my tractor brake. I'll give it a little tug. There you go, that's a good test. Reverse it. I'm testing my my trailer brakes. I'm pressed in my tractor brakes. There you go. That's a good test. Now I'm going to do my service brake test. It's your service brake on the pedal down there. You put your hands at the three and nine position. You're checking to see if the tractor will pull to any position and your dip at any position and you're looking for your ABS lights to come on or off. If they do, you would take it into a shop. Roll up five miles an hour and press your service brake. No ABS light on my trailer or on my dash and I did not have any pull on my steering wheel. So that concludes with my air brake test.